Hello Pepsters and welcome to Pep Talk. Uh, kakaiba po ang Pep Talk natin ngayon dahil kasama po natin isang international star, a Hollywood Australian actor. Ladies and gentlemen, please all welcome Mr. Conan Stevens. First of all, Conan, uh, I just want to thank you for taking time to be our guest here in Pep Talk. I know you're a very busy person. You're currently uh, uh, filming uh, in Cantadia, right? Mm, yes, filming in Cantadia and doing the talk show round, so um, GMA are keeping me very busy. Okay. Thank you for having me. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's just uh, get a little background about yourself. I understand, uh, I did some research about you, and I understand you're not just an actor, you're also a writer. Uh, yes, I wrote um, one movie we've had produced, Bangkok Adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I did the script for that, so um, I've written a few other movies that are had to throw out, but it was good practice. Mm -hmm. um, another one I hope to make later. And several books on uh, bodybuilding. Wow. <laughs> and um, a few other things I've done, yes. Yes, and aside from being a writer, an actor, a movie producer, I guess? Uh, not officially, not yet. I'm hoping to rectify that. Did you have that I worked in the ballet for three years? Yeah, I, I also oh, you read did. that you, you also okay. did ballet and you're a professional wrestler. I didn't. Big fan of professional wrestling. Thank you. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also uh, do some little uh, work on myself. Okay. So how about you? Uh, uh, how about that step as a professional wrestler? How did that... Uh, um, when I was 16, my friends started the gym and wanted to become professional bodybuilders. I looked at the whole sport and I went, that doesn't seem like a good career choice or much fun. You have to diet, you have to go to the gym, you have to restrict your life so much. And I remember Hulk Hogan on TV seemed to be having a lot of fun. And I thought, that looks better to me. So I wanted to become a professional wrestler. And I'll let you in on a secret. I'm not able to dance, but I can follow choreography. Mm -hmm. And if it surprises you that professional wrestling is choreographed, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's mm. the soap opera for men, right? No, it's silly stuff. But <laughs> oh, <It> wow. <laughs> no, I, I have had detractors before saying, that's stupid, why are you watching that? 15 minutes later. It's, yeah. It is, it's a soap opera for men. Yeah, we know it's scripted, but we, uh, we get a kick out of it anyway, so. Oh, it's silly, but so is, you know most of the action movies we watch. Mm -hmm. But it's an escape from reality and it's a holiday and it's just a bit of fun. And you did a lot of Asian films while you're... Uh... Yeah, I've been living in Asia 12 years now. Um, I came as a stopover on the way through. I was going to go to Eastern Europe. They make a lot of films there and I, I stopped in Thailand and I walked into a, one job and another job and another job and another job. So I, I stayed in Asia and I've been working uh, around the region now and now I'm in the Philippines. And uh, before, uh, what is it? Is it before the Game of Thrones and you also did The Hobbit in Hollywood? No, actually I had worked on the first season of Game of Thrones and then contacted Peter Jackson. They were already very late in the casting process. Um, basically the, the pitch line was, I'm in Game of Thrones, I play a big knight, I can sword fight. Yeah. And um, Peter Jackson said, "Yes, send a, what send a did take." The horse, with that? the horse deserved <laughs> it. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's just, uh, it's just a TV show, but oh, uh, that is pretty brutal. Yes, it's just a TV show. Except when we, the director called cut, the horse turned and looked at me, and I went, "What are you doing?" And it went stamp right on my toe. <laughs> Poor horse. Mm, my foot. <laughs> Arnie pretended to hurt the horse. Oh, ah, okay. It's the other way around. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, you did The Hobbit with Peter Jackson. Yes. So, uh, what's your role in that? Uh, um, I, I play... Originally, it was going to be a, um, a costume. Uh, the, all the monsters, like in Lord of the Rings, all the monsters were going to be costume. And then after we filmed the first, most of the first one, there was, a decision was made to go with computer graphics instead. Mm -hmm. So um, I had done some of the motion capture for Bolg um, originally, so they, I think they used some of that and they left me in a short scene in the first one. Then in the third movie, they um, created a new character and used some of the scenes we originally filmed with uh, Gladriel and Gandalf. Uh, 
let's go back to Game of Thrones. You did the, the first season as Gregor Clegane, uh, yes. The Mountain. Yes. So, uh, what did you, did you feel when, when the people from Game of Thrones told you that uh, they're going to cast another actor for that role? Um, I can understand that on several levels. Um, it's the way the business works. I don't know what was going through their head. Uh, as far as they were aware, I'd gone and scored a major role um, in the title credits on The Hobbit. And there's quite a few reasons production might just go, well. Um, the official reason was that I was on Game of Thrones, uh, sorry, on Hobbit and didn't have time for Game of Thrones. Um, Again, I can't really comment on that because I wasn't privy to those conversations, so that was the official response. Well, what can you say about the, the new actor playing Gregor uh, the, 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 the newest one or the one before? The, the newest one, the newest one. Because <laughs> the character's been done yeah, three times the, now. The second one's Ian White, right? Yeah, Ian White. Um, uh, I haven't met him yet, but um, half Thor, I almost met, I might actually get to meet him. I'm going to Bangkok shortly. He's in, in Bangkok filming at the moment. And we have a mutual friend um, who asked me some advice for, for half thought on half thought's behalf. So I might actually get to meet him soon. Wow. So that'll be interesting. Send us a picture. I will be all <laughs> over social media. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, aside from uh, you're always casting movies with fantasy themes. Uh, you start as Thor, and you were also in uh, what is this? Uh, the Gladiator. Uh, Spartacus. Spartacus. Yeah, you were there too. So. Uh, why is it that you're always casting those kind of films? Because this is what I used to do for fun before mm -hmm. I for figured fun. out you could get paid for it. Mm -hmm. um, that's the movies, the genre that I enjoy, and it's what I have my skills in. Because as a child, I'd watch these and go out and practice swords and karate and silly things in the backyard, and that's why you end up with injuries when you're a child. Mm -hmm. Don't do this at home, <laughs> unless you want to become a stuntman. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's what I enjoy, so it's basically I'm going out to play and I'm getting paid for it now. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you want to do other roles as well, like uh, apart from action, do you want to do drama or comedy? No, not really. Um, I have an idea for a movie that I would like to do, it, it's, it's different. Um, like a, a, a a buddy movie where I play something mm. along the lines of a, a Capre who befriends a, a child who's sort of um, a social misfit and no one likes him. I, Did you say Capre? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you well, <laughs> yeah. well oh, okay. it's, it's the same legend in, in, mm. in Thailand. They call it Yuck and in Canada they call it oh. the Abominable Snowman and Yeti and, and, and we've got uh, Yowies in Australia. So how much of a legend is it and how much of its truth if it's all around the world? Wow. So. You have a point there. Huh? So, you're from Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. You're supposed to say, oi, oi, oi. No, that's, I don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but you're, uh, you, you've been, uh, star, you started in fantasy movies, and now you're here in the Philippines playing another fantasy character. Mm -hmm. And your character's name is? Vishka. Uh, and Vishka is, uh, tell us all about it. Uh, Vishka is the last remaining Higanti. Mm. Uh, no one really knows where the rest of them went. Vishka probably has an idea, but he's decided to stay and is the leader of the Ascano uh, Barbarian or Barbaro tribe. Uh, being hundreds of years old, he's very good at everything he does uh, because you poor humans die out by that time. Yeah. So his generations. So you're an immortal. Not immortal, but, but very, very long lived. Um, mm. Obviously, with hundreds of years of battle, he's very good at battle. Uh, being a, a, a giant, strong. Imagine yourself fighting a 12-year-old child, for instance. That's what it is for a giant to fight a normal-sized person. So, he's. But besides his actual strength in combat, it's his skill comes from uh, smithing. He makes armor and weapons, and the armor and weapons are fit for heroes, and not just fit for heroes. They're actually made for the gods. He's, he's that good, and that's where his background comes from. So, uh, what's uh, is there a difference from the, from uh, the other characters that you've already played, like Thor or from Spartacus? Um, yes, 
he's less angry. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that was a, actually that's that's the main point. He's less. The other character, Thor, for instance, was angry that everyone's converting to Christianity. Uh, the mountain's angry because he has some sort of a, a, a brain tumor, it's constant pain and constant uh, stress. Um, and Sedulus was just a, a brute. Um, so this is actually, and once the story develops, you'll see it a little bit more, I think. So this is a, uh, a kind of version of, uh, of, uh, of the, all, all the other roles that he played? It is actually, yes. And I guess with Wilson too, because he lived for oh, what, what, a hundred years? He, he had wisdom about... Uh, several hundred several years, hundred yes, years. Yeah, so he from three so or four. he carries with him some wisdom. Uh, yes, and he's... Uh, the other thing is, everyone says, as a, as a race, humans forget history very quickly. Mm -hmm. But if you're 300 years old, you actually remember all that history, and your father taught you another 300 years. Mm -hmm. So, he's seen the battles before, he's seen the wars before, he's seen... Uh, so you're going to say... Again, you're why are we going to battle like... Uh, let's drink and just ignore these humans. They'll be dead in 15 years and we can... <laughs> so you're going to uh, speak a lot of lines here in Encantaja. I was in Enchant, is it right? Yes, I was in Enchant. I found that a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. um, Challenging. It was, and because I'm used to shooting in movies and it's like, okay, we do this much now, we do this much, we have a break. And when I turned up for Encantadia, I was like, wow. <laughs> it's like, like, all, uh, like the old style um, filming in the West where you'd shoot 20 minutes in one take. Not many people did it, but some very notable uh, directors did. And I was sitting there going, this is out of my experience range. This is very different. So working with Philippines is a different experience for you? Uh, very, uh, big learning experience, yes, very big. And I was watching Drake Mark uh, actually e editing on the fly between three cameras. And I was just like, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That was, that was, uh, So wow. how do you find working with Filipinos? Very good. It's it, everything's. Everyone's easy to get along with, and that's the secret to making a good movie or a TV show. If everyone's, there's no stress. All the energy goes into the production and the creation. There's no internal fighting, which is, and it makes it so pleasurable to work, because you can just do your job and concentrate on doing everything right, and it's everything's smooth. It's Never great. Friendly, right? Everyone. International reputation <laughs> for being polite and friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, a well deserved reputation, too. That's how they are as Filipinos, very friendly. So, uh, what, food, uh, what Filipino food have you tasted so far? Most of it, except balut. Except balut. Oh, are you going to. No. <laughs> okay. I've uh, looked at it, mm -hmm. and I mean, I'll take the roast chicken instead. Yeah, it, it looks back at you. Yeah. yeah. You peel the eggshells. Yeah, the it's apparently. I it's very good. It's very good. Yeah, and, and I know that <laughs> chemically, and uh, I know it's extremely good for you to eat. Yeah. Uh, just uh, it doesn't. Protein and. Well, yeah. In Protein. Cambodia, they fry tarantulas and eat them. Mm. And that's the leftover from the Khmer Rouge where they had no food. But they still eat them today, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's part of the culture, I suppose, too. So, uh, do you plan to travel the country? Uh, I've traveled around quite a bit already. I've been up north to Baguio, the Hundred Islands, and down Zambales to the beaches there, uh, down to Batangas, and up through um, like Tagate uh, and um, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, <laughs> no, no, okay. uh, Port Aguilera, and uh, Cebu, and up to uh, what's it? The island up north of Cebu. It translates as Watchtower, the old Spanish forts there. Um, Anyway, it's a old, yeah, north of Cebu is another island up there, and um, I want to go to Davao because I, I. Which one is your favorite so far? So far, I, it's hard to say. Oh, Manila is great because it's a big city; everything's here, and there's there's so many different aspects. I I really did like Cebu, mm -hmm. um, but say so I want to go to Davao. I want to see. I want to, because we've got the new president, and I want to. I've heard. The devour is very nice. I want to have a look for myself and have a look. It's, it sounds you know, so you might interesting. Do a project out there. You know? you that might do a little, would uh, be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you, you work with Filipino actors. Uh, any 
uh, favorite Pinoy so far? Who's your favorite Pinoy <laughs> right now? Um, I'm. That's a hard question because it's it's for me. I'm I'm not really a fan. I just watch and learn from everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not really anyone in particular. As I said, direct Mark I was watching his, his editing. And I was like, I, I, as they were filming, and I, uh, that was a I've never seen that before. That that was very su su surprising and very skillful. Yet I work with um, Boo Boy too, uh, and he's 18 and he's just like lines, lines, lines. Ah, and then straight back into his lines, and then he's being silly, and then he's straight back into being serious. I'm like 18, so uh, there's no one in particular. I just I'm learning so much from everybody at the moment. This is a different style altogether. So uh, now, Bonan, that uh, you've seen uh, the way we work here, mm -hmm. uh, can we expect that uh, you're, go you're going away uh, this month? Uh, in a few days, actually. In a few days. Yeah. So are we going to expect? I am definitely coming back, yes. Yeah, I I'm just have to go and do a few meetings and a few, I'm trying to move my career forward mm -hmm. still, and, and I'll be back, definitely. So uh, before we go, uh, we just want to do a little game. It's called Pep Talk Challenge. Uh, you're, you're just going to recite uh, mm -hmm. a few Tagalog lines, okay. but you're going to uh, pick from this jar uh, <laughs> <laughs> it scares me. No. <laughs> uh, you're going to choose uh, the, the uh, type of expression you're going to uh, okay. recite the line. Okay. So, People usually play this game to foreigners when they first arrive, but being a family show, I think I'm going to be safe. Okay. Okay. So happy. happy. Well, that's an easy one. I'm so going rather to, happy at the moment. I'm going to read this for you. Okay. It's called Sana Ako Nalang Uli. This is from the movie uh, One More Chance. Sana Ako Nalang. Oh, that's right actually. <laughs> Sana Ako Nalang. Sana Ako Nalang Uli. 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 Next expression. Right, that was an easy one. I was already smiling. Sad. Said, mm -hmm. uh, this is Walang Himala. Ang Himala ay nasa puso ng tao from the movie Himala. Walang Himala. Ang Himala ay nasa puso ng tao. Ready? Woo! Tao? Tao. You nailed it. I did it. Oh, yeah. I did. I didn't nail the sad <laughs> bit though. Ready? Next expression. Next expression. Next expression. Next expression. I'm going to have to do some Tagalog lessons soon. Yeah. <laughs> so this, uh, this means no more dogs. Anyway. So the next question is... Surprise! Surprise! Uh, <clears throat> the line goes, Pinilo mo na ang salo, dapat ka nang kalusin. From an FPJ film. Pinilo mo... Pinilo mo na ang salo? Dada... That pack can cut loose in. Yay! Wow. <laughs> yeah, that one was difficult for me. Yeah, but you did good, huh? No, you've just been nice. Our next uh, <clears throat> question is scared. I can't do scared. scared. Sorry, I don't practice one ever. <laughs> With your size, I, I, I don't think I haven't seen. I haven't seen a guy. With Size. Well, it's not something, it's like romance. I don't practice romance because yeah. I'm not going to work with anyone silly enough to put me in a romance. You're insane, so I'm not working with you. Oh, you we can, okay. we so can you try. Can just what was it again? I was doing scared. A color more lang, voila. Pero meron, meron, meron. This is from him. Man, you're doing good. And the last one is... I actually lie. I, I, I've been here three years now, on and off three years, and I, I don't speak Tagalog, but I'm starting to actually understand some wow. of the words. 
So I'm getting an ear for it too. There's a revelation here. Chris from Pep Toka. Well, this is... He's been here three years now. I'm like a little bit like Putin. I hide the fact I can speak English, German and all these other languages. <laughs> I can do this one. He's been here three years na pala. Angry! <laughs> ah, angry! Ay, nako! This one, this is, this is the last one. Mm -hmm. And this is the most challenging, I think. Uh, let's, <coughs> let me just read this for you. Okay? I can read the bit, but first, tong, tong, tong. Okay. Paki, tong, ki, tong. Just going to recite this, uh, angry though. Okay. <coughs> No, the next bit I need help with. <laughs> the first bit is easy. Tong, 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 pakitong, titong, alimango sa dagat, kay hirap, hulihin sa pagkat na nangagat. Mm, right. <laughs> tong, 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 pakitong, kitong. Alimango sa dagat, kay hirap, hulihin sa pagkat. Nang gang gang gat. If you were saying that with the sword, I'm going to run away or piss on my face. Please my hands. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, uh, Conan. Uh, would you like to invite the uh, pastors to watch and and uh, invite them to follow you on your Instagram or your social media accounts? Alright, I really do hope you are watching Encantadia, seeing as it's the number one show. Please watch it nightly. I will be on shortly. There will be a very interesting trailer for Vishka is coming. If you look at my uh, Twitter, Conan Stevens, one word, and Facebook, Conan Stevens, one word. Uh, you can find, and there's uh, some photos I put up last night that I don't think they've been officially released but it's from the creative team so I'm not complaining but uh, some very nice Vishka is coming uh, teasers. Okay, so there you have it Pepsters, Abangan Nyo Rose Vishka on Encantadia and ladies and gentlemen, Conan Stevens. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. Thank you. Sana Ako Nalang. That's right actually. San Akonalang, San Akonalang, Olut. Olit, Olut. Olit.